we are going to do a lesson where you're going to learn how to have an opinion about a story and also write an opinion about a story. So I'm going to teach you the steps to have an opinion about a story and how to write an opinion about a story. So what are you going to learn, everybody? You're going to learn to have an opinion about a story and how to write an opinion about a story. So then I thought to myself, OK, I need for you, and do you see how everybody's looking straight up here? Good for you. I need for you to learn, first of all, just about what an opinion is. So an opinion is when you're going to be thinking something about the story, what you think or feel about the story. Ready, everybody? What is an opinion? Is what I think or feel about the story. So before we do that, I thought, you know, we could make this really simple, like what you would do with little kids, where you could say, oh, I like the story. But we want to kick it up a notch. Everyone look at me and say, kick it up a notch. Kick, kick it, it up a notch. All right, all right. We're going to have an opinion this time where we're going to learn to have an opinion at a high level. And that is, we're going to look at this story and have an opinion about one of the themes of the story. So everyone say, theme. Theme. Now look at me and say, what is a theme? What is a theme? When the characters are in the story, as they go through the story, their actions reveal the theme. So, when you have a story, does the character just come there in the beginning and then you never see them again? Or are they all the way through the story? Do you see the character? All the way through the story. And everyone go like this. And the character will do, say, or think. Ready? The character will do, say, or think as they go through the story. What will they do, everybody? They will do, say, or think as they go through the story. And the, when they go through the story, that reveals the theme. theme. So now, I'm going to tell you one of the themes. And then eventually, you'll be able to learn these themes and come up with your own. So one of the themes of our story today is perseverance. And I think I'll put that over here. What's one of the themes today, everybody? Perseverance. Now, I don't want you writing this down yet. I'm just going to show you something. So look how everybody just has their eyes up here, their pencils are down, and they're looking straight up here, because that's what we're doing. Go ahead and put your pencil down. So let me show you. Let me show you how you have. Can I show with yours? See where you have that fold in your paper? Just put your pencil right there in the fold so that you can see. All right. Now, we're going to learn about perseverance, and I'm going to show you how to do this. I have one, two, three of my little circles here. These circles are gonna teach you the theme. Everyone look at me and go, how? How? Thank you for asking. The first theme is always someone because we have to have someone in a story. Someone reveals the theme. So this circle is someone. So everyone go and say, what is perseverance? What is perseverance? First I have to have someone. So I'm just gonna put a stick figure because I'm not gonna talk about the story yet. I'm just telling you what perseverance is. So everyone go like this, go perseverance. Perseverance. Put a finger out like it's someone and go someone. Someone. Now I want everyone to look over here and say actions. actions. So now you're going to go like this, go actions. Actions. Ah, so someone, here's the actions. And when you have actions in a story, you could be doing the action or receiving the action. So what could a character be doing? They could be doing, doing an action or receiving an action. action. So here's the actions. They are going, so someone faces obstacles. So now, perseverance is when, ready? Perseverance is when someone, and then let's go like this, say faces obstacles, ready? Faces, faces obstacles. obstacles. So now obstacles could be something where, let's put a person here like, oh no, I have to face my own fears. What if I was terrified of heights and I had to climb a, a big, tall mountain? What do I have to face? My fear of heights. Hi. So they face an obstacle. They could face their own fears. They could face others. So what if there were bullies? Or what if there were some mean people? Or what if there was um, people trying to trick you? So we have others. Or we have nature. What if there was a tornado or an earthquake or an illness. What if you got sick and you had to face an illness? 
So now we have to go back and let's say what perseverance is so far. Ready, everyone? Say perseverance. Perseverance. Now let's do the someone. Ready, go. Someone faces many obstacles. Their own fears, others. What can I do for nature? Nature. Ready? Nature or an illness. Okay, now everybody over here, this now, to reveal what perseverance is, now what we're going to do is that someone is either giving or receiving an action, and then now they're going to have a reaction. So now, once this happens to them or they do something, now we want to know how they react or why they did something. So now, everyone look at me and say, reaction. What do they do when they face obstacles? Ready? Reaction. reaction. What, what do they do, do when, when they, they face obstacles? So to have perseverance, this part is showing you have perseverance. You're going to face these obstacles and you're never going to give up no. until you reach your goal. So even if others say, you can't do it, even if it seems impossible, you are never going to give up until you reach your goal. So let's do the whole thing. Everyone say perseverance. Ready, go. Perseverance. Someone faces many obstacles. And they and never they give up. And then here's the goal. Ready? Until they reach their goal. All right. We are going to now have you do what we call table talk. Table talk is when you're just leaning in and you're going to tell the information. Are you ready? Lean into the people at your table and you're going to tell them what perseverance means. Let me hear you guys. Ready, set, go. Perseverance is go. Now look at everybody sitting up nice and tall and now we are going to learn how to have an opinion and one of our, our opinion today is going to be one of the themes of the story was what? Perseverance. Okay, now I'm telling you we're going to have an opinion about a story so I would like everybody to look at me and say what is an opinion? What is an opinion? Thank you for asking. When you have an opinion about a story or anything that you read, would it make sense if I walked up to someone and, say, and said, who have no idea what salt is, they've never read the story, and go, oh yeah, that story, that, oops, I shouldn't even say that story. Oh boy, there was perseverance. That was one of the themes. Would they even know what I was talking about? No. no. Ah, so everyone go like this. Touch your head and go, an opinion. An opinion. About a story. About a story. Better have a quick summary. Better have a what? Quick summary. And then everyone look at each other and go, be polite. Be polite. Because if I walked up and said, oh yeah, the theme was perseverance, do you even know what I'm talking about? No. So you'd have to say, quick summary, be polite. What do you need? Quick, quick summary, summary, be polite. polite. So if I told you in the story Salt, written by Harv Zemak, would you now know what I was talking about? Yes. yes. And maybe I need to tell you the character, maybe I need to tell you what the character did. So that's our big thing right there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have you have a quick summary so you can be polite. Are we ready everybody? What's the first thing you need in opinion? Go. Quick, quick summary, summary, be polite. polite. Once you are polite and you tell your quick summary, touch your head and go. Then tell your opinion. Ready? Go. Then tell your opinion. Okay, ready? What are all the parts of opinion so far? Go. Quick summary, be polite, then tell your opinion. Now here's the next part that you're going to love. Then call in the team to back you up. What? Then call in the team to back you up. So I have my three major parts to my opinion. What is it, everybody? Go. Quick summary, be polite, tell your opinion, and call in the team to back me up. Tell the people at your table, what are the parts of an opinion? Go. Okay, take a seat.
let's see if I can get somebody. Michaela. Michaela, where are you? All right, let's hear the parts of an opinion. Everyone look at Nikayla and go, what are the parts of an opinion? What are the parts of an opinion? All right, give it to us, go. Is it an opinion? Do you start off with your opinion or do you give a quick summary first? Quick summary. Do you see her? She's like, quick summary. <laughs> Excuse me. Then what's next? After your quick summary, then what? Do you just stay with the quick summary or do you call on the team or give your opinion? Is she right? Yes. yes. Then after you give your opinion, what do you do? Call in the? Call in the team. To do what? To say hello or back you up? Back you up. Now give me the whole thing. Everybody, we're going to do the prompts, our physical prompts, and she's going to say the parts. Ready? Go. What's this? What is that? Is that opinion or a quick summary? Quick summary. Now what? Be polite. Be polite. Excuse me. She got even the whole thing. Let's do the whole bit. Ready? Go. Quick be summary. Be, be polite. polite. Then what? Calling the team back to now, I gave you the summary of the story. What do I need next? I need to tell you my opinion. And then what? Calling the team back to Excellent. Let's give it ooh. Ready? Go. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Let me see if I can get somebody. Maybe you got it, but we'll get somebody who didn't. Um, Amaya M? Okay. Go ahead and tell us. What is it? Call the team to back me up. <laughs> oh my gosh, did she get the whole thing? Yeah. Okay, can I just say something that you just did? You went like this, you went, to help you remember, didn't you? That helps you remember, doesn't it? Let's see now if you can all do it. Ready? Everyone go, wow. Ready, go, wow. wow. Let's do it, everybody. Ready, set, go. Quick summary, be polite. Time. Tell the people at your table. Go. Okay. Take a seat. Here we go. Now we are going to learn. Now that we know the parts of an opinion, now I need for us to learn how to write an opinion. So we have our organizer here. So I'd like for you to sit up nice and tall. Grab your pencil. And we are going to do the following. Boys and girls, look up at the board right here. I am drawing this long sheet of paper like you have on in your table. Is that right? Yes. Now, do you see how there's a fold in the paper? Yes? Yes. Please put a line across that fold. And I'm watching for people who do it quickly because that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for fast, quick organizing. Now, this top part is going to be paragraph one. What is the top part going to be? Paragraph one. The bottom is going to be paragraph two. What will it be? Paragraph two. So when you actually go to write, what do you do to show that it's a paragraph? Do you keep it over at the margin or do you indent? Indent. Ah, so everyone go like this. Go indent paragraph one. Ready, go. Indent paragraph one. Indent paragraph two. Ready? Indent paragraph two. All right. Now we're going to go back and we have to label it. I'm going to see if you can stay right with me. Look what I'm doing. I'm saying I need to put something here and here. Do you see how I'm stretching it atop where paragraph one is? Right on the edge. So you kind of touch like one, two. I'm going to be putting two things here. You do it. Ready? Go. One, two. Now watch what I'm going to do. Put your pencil up. Go to where your first finger was. And we're going to put a QS there with a circle around it. Then I'm going to put an O down a little bit further. I'm not going to tell you what that stands for. You have to figure it out by telling the people at your table. What's the QS stand for? What's the O? Go. All right, let's get Elizabeth. Where are you, Elizabeth? Elizabeth, what does the QS stand for? Oh, did she get it? Yes. Come on, go smarty. All right, let's get another one. Let's see if I get somebody here. 
Celine, where are you? She's Alyssa, where are you? Right here. Alyssa, what's the O for? Opinion. Did she get it? Yes. What is it with you guys? You get everything. All right, you are not going to get this next. I have QSO. What do you think I'm going to put here? Equalizing team. Let's see. Quick summary. Give your opinion. Let's see if you're right. Ready? Put your, put your pencil in your hand quickly. Look how I'm stretching this down. How many more letters do I have? T, E, what else do I need? A and a. I have two more, so do I want to squeeze them up here or go down so I can have the whole page? So look at this, I'm going to put my A here, and I'm putting my M here. Now, I don't, I want to remember that this is a paragraph and so is this, but I want to separate it out a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sort of a light pencil, I don't need it too dark, I want to go across so I have a spot for each one of those letters. And then I'm just going to do this, not on the QS and the O, I'm just going to do this. And now I have my team captured. We have our organizer all ready to go. Now what we're going to do, once we have our organizer, and by the way, did I need to Xerox anything off for you? No. no. Did you make the organizer on your own? Yes. So if you ever have an opinion, can you do this on your own? Yes. Yes. Everyone go, that's easy. That's easy. I know it is, isn't it? Okay, <laughs> pencils down. Make sure that you're looking up here because now I'm going to show you how to do an opinion. Are we ready? Yes. Okay, I'm going to just show you quickly. Over here, under quick summary and opinion, I need to first of all tell you with the quick summary, I need to tell you who the author is, and then I want to also tell you the title. Ooh, grab your pencil. How many things? Everyone say, author and title. So look what I'm going to do under my quick summary. I'm going to put a little line here and a little line here. Author. Who's the author? Everybody tell me. Harvey. All right. So I think it's Harvey or Harv. Harv. Is there a Y in there? No. Harv Zamak. Look what you're doing. You're going to write that down on the first line very quickly. Harv Zamak. First line that you put there. Second line, we need to put the title. title. Now, this is a short story. Short stories or stories that are a part of an anthology of many stories, they're like tiny. They're like babies. So when you write the title of a short story, or stories that are part of like an anthology, they're a part of something or they're little. So they need quotation marks. Now put your quotation marks up like this. And it's almost like a hug, like it's little and it needs a hug. Ready, everyone go. It's little, it needs a hug. So what are you gonna put? Are you gonna, are you going to leave it plain or does it need a hug with quotation marks? Hug with quotation marks. Now if it was a novel, a real long book that you were reading, it's like it's all grown up. So everyone go like this, say, it can stand on its own. It can stand on its own. So now, are you putting quotation marks around it? No. Or are you going to underline it? Underline Because it. now it can stand on its own. All right, are we ready? Yes. Short story, what does it need? Quotation marks. Novel, what does it need? Underline, underline it because it can stand on its own. Oh. Now, let her, everyone, I want you to do the following. Ready? Say, title of a story. Title of the story. Capitalize the first word. Capitalize the first word. Capitalize the last word. Capitalize the last word. And only the important words in the middle. And only the important words in the middle. Ah, so if I was writing the three little pigs, what do I have to do with the first word? Capitalize Yeah, because the is an important, but it's your first word, correct? Yep. So I'd have to capitalize it. Three, that's in the middle, is it important? Yes. I'd have to capitalize it. Little, would I have to capitalize it? Yes. Pigs. Yes. Yeah, it's important and it's the 
Last word. All right. We only have one word here for this title. What is it called, everybody? Salt. So now we're going to write the word salt. And what am I going to do with this? Is this going to be, uh, under, am I going to officially underline it? And if I had to officially underline it, I would make this line really thick, okay? Or am I going to put quotation marks around it? Quotation. Tell the people at your table, how are we going to put it? Quotation marks. All right, put quotation marks around salt. Now let's go back and let's say the whole thing. Sit up nice and tall. Put the pretend like you have a pencil in your hand and we're going to orally rehearse this. Are you ready? The author, Harv Zemeck, wrote the short story Salt. You do it. The author, Harv Zemeck, wrote a short story called Salt. The author, Harv Zemeck, wrote a short story entitled Salt. You tell the people how you're going to say that first sentence. Go. Okay, sit up nice and tall. Let me see if I can get somebody, because this group is really fast. I don't know. Gabriella, where are you? Okay, Gabriella, go. Everyone pretend like you're the author. Go. So, ready? The author, go. The author, Harzamek, wrote a short story titled Salt. Wow, does that sound good? Yeah. Let's do it. Give her a W. Give her an O. Give her another W. What do we say? Uh, wow. wow. All right, my friend. Let's say it one more time. Ready? Go. Harv's a man. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's use your idea. The author. Ready? Everyone go. The author, Harv's a man, wrote a short story titled Salt. Now, I'm done with that sentence. I think I need to put a period. You put a period. Now what we need to do is, I'm not done with my quick summary, I need three lines. So next time when you do this, how many lines are at the top when you're writing short summaries? Two. Two. Then what do you need? Three. three. Lines. And then I need you to do this, I need you to put a C, an S, and I need you to put an arrow. C, an S, and an arrow. And then look at me and say, what does that mean? What does that mean? C is for character. What is C for? Character. Everyone go like this, say, who was the main character in the story? Who was the main character in the who story? Who was doing most of the action? Who was doing most Tell of the people action? Tell people at your table, who was the main character? Who was it mostly about? Yvonne. Who was it mostly about? Okay. Wow, I'm going to go ahead and say stop and look up here. I bet you everyone's going to do it because this group's so advanced. Ready? Stop. Eyes up here. Look how everyone's looking up here. Uh, Ella? Where are you? Who's the story mostly about, Ella? Ivan. Ooh, and she even said, like, what they called him. Let's put it over here. Ivan the Fool. S is for setting. What is S? Setting. Okay, everyone look at your wrist and go like this. Say, when was the story happening? When was the story happening? Where was the story happening? Where was the story happening? So, I need a when and I need a where. Tell the people at your table, when and where did this happen? Okay, stop. Eyes up here. Wow, all I did was say stop and you went back and and look straight up here. I love it. Bo, where are you? Okay, Bo, when, everyone do this. When, Bo, when was this happening? Is this story that happened right now? No. When did it happen? It happened... Did it happen during a storm or did it happen long ago? Long ago. Ooh, let's go over to the setting. I'm going to put an arrow, because I'm going to have to write out everything for long ago. Where did the story happen? At sea. Out at sea? Only at sea? No. No. At sea and where else? And, um...
Ready? Tell the people at your table, where else? He's got one at C and where else? Go. <laughs> Stop! Everybody up here! And in a kingdom. Let's write a kingdom. And was it a kingdom nearby or a far away kingdom? Far away kingdom. <laughs> okay. Let's try reading this now. Let's go back to the beginning. Put your hand like you're the author and let's read it. Ready? Shall we start with the author again? Is that okay? Ready, everyone, go. The, the author, author Mark Zimmer, wrote, wrote a short, short story, story entitled Salt. Salt. In this story, a young, a young, boy. was it a boy or a young man? A young man. Okay, ready? In the story, a young man named Ivan the Fool, who in a kingdom in a faraway kingdom. Okay, now, ready? It's really hard sometimes to do this last part. Are we ready? The last part is, what was the story mostly about? Now, this is when you end up wanting to tell the whole story. So I'm gonna give you two key words. He either needs or wants something in the story. So everyone go like this. Long in the story, ready everyone go. In the story, a young man named Ivan the Fool who lived in a faraway kingdom wanted or needed. Tell the people at your table. Wanted what? Needed what? Okay, stop. Eyes up here. Andy, what did he want or need? Andy, what did he want or need? He needed salt. Needed salt. Why? What was he going to get for salt? Why did he need it? So he could get silver coins? No. So tell the people one more time now. Here's Ivan the Fool. And he needed to get salt. Why did he need to get salt? What was the salt? What is the meaning of salt? Because he wanted to put it on his steak? No. Why? He needed salt because he needed it for what? Money. Money. So he needed salt because it was like? Money. And he would be what if he had lots of money? Rich. Oh. Let's go back and see if that's the gist of the story. Ready? Everyone, go. In the story, Ivan the Fool. Would it sound better if we said something like, in the story, Ivan the Fool lived in a kingdom? <laughs> who lived in a kingdom? Does this sound okay when I put it here, or do I need to move it? Let's try just saying what he wanted first, okay? Ready? Go. In the story, Ivan the Fool, and what word did you use? Needed or wanted? Needed. Needed. Needed to find, and then let's make a bunch of salt here, and then let's write the word rich. Whoops. We're going to put needs in the story. Ivan the Fool needs to find just a pinch of salt or a bunch of salt. A bunch, a bunch of salt so he can be rich. Here we go. Let's go back. And let's say the whole thing on our quick summary. Are we ready? And we're going to fiddle with it because do you have to say it exactly in this order? No. No. Let's fiddle with it. Ready? Start with your pencil. Go. The author, Harf. Ready? Go. Get your pencil ready. Go. The author, Harf Zimmerman, wrote a short story entitled Salt. In the story, a young man named Ivan the Fool needs to find so he can be rich in his kingdom. Ooh, does that sound better? Yeah. Tell the people so far. What is your quick summary for this story? Go, tell your quick summary. Re oh, I want to hear you. Ready? The author, go. The author.
Okay, my friends, take a seat. Now I'm gonna get somebody. We will see. Oh, you, yeah? We will see. Amaya B. Are you ready? I want the whole class. We're gonna go like this. Quick summary, be polite. Give it to her. Ready? Go. Quick summary, be polite. Okay, Amaya. Say the whole thing. Ready? Go. The author. Now, let's go back and let's see what she just said. Everyone go Brainiac. <laughs> Are we ready? Let's look at it. In the, let's practice it, ready, go. In, In the, the short, short story, Salt, Salt, written by Harzamak. Ooh, I could do that. Let's go back and do it this way. The author, ready, go. The author, Harzamak, wrote a short story entitled Salt. Oh, look, I'm putting my period there. Now watch, I'm pausing. Listen to me pause. Now I want to start my new sentence. In the story, a young boy, a young man named Ivan the Fool needs to find a bunch of salt so he can be rich in his kingdom. When I'm done with all this, what will I have here? A new period. Put a period. Okay, Amaya, now we're going to have you say it again. Are you ready? Everyone give it to her. Say, quick summary, be polite. Ready, go. Quick, quick summary, summary, be polite. Go. The author, Harvison Mack, made a short story called Salt, and a young man named Ivan the Fool. Now, a young, a, a, a story named Salt. Now, give you a year pause. Ready, go. Say it one more time. Say, in the short story. Ready, go. In a short story. story. Oops, I'm sorry. The author. Say it again. The author. Hold on. Can I just say what you just did? She just did what a really high level writer does. She's reading it. It didn't sound right. Did you keep going or did you go back to fix it? Okay. Everyone, put your hands on your hip and go, wow, she's like a high level writer. <laughs> wow. That's what good writers do. They listen. Are you trying to copy what I'm saying or are you saying it so it makes sense? Saying it so it makes sense. Everyone go, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Good writer. Yeah. All right, ready? Go. In the, let's all do it with her. Ready, go. In, In the, the oops, should I say the author? Go. Yeah. The author, Harzamak, wrote a short story entitled Salt. Okay, give a pause. Now do our next sentence. Ready, go. In the story, a young man named Ivan the Fool needs a bunch of salt so he can be rich. Now, one more time, tell the people at your table your short summary. First of all, let's give our friend a thanks. Ready, go. Thanks. All right, go. The author. What did you say? What did you say? All right, take seat. I'm picking on a group. Are we ready? Yeah. Yes. I'm picking on this group right here. Stand. <laughs> Everyone, give it to them. Say, quick summary. Be polite. Quick summary. Be polite. Give it to us. Go. Wow, did they sound okay? Yeah. Give them a quick summary snap, ready? Sit down, smarties. I'm gonna pick on one more table. This table, stand up. Give it to them guys, ready, go. Quick summary, be polite, go. The author, Harz and Mac, wrote a short story entitled Salt. In his story, a young man named Ivan the Fool Needs a bunch of salt so he can be rich in his faraway kingdom.
Do they sound good or what? Yeah. And we'll go like this though. Wow. wow. <laughs> All right. Boys and girls, we have our quick summary. What do we need now? Opinion. All right. And what was our opinion? We were saying the theme of the story was what? So let's just do that. Let's just write theme. So our opinion is going to be about a theme. Because you, you always have to have an opinion about a theme. Yeah. No. You can have an opinion about a character. You can have a... You could have an opinion about whether you like the whole story or not. You could have an opinion about the setting. What's our opinion going to be about? It's about the theme. All right. Put an equal sign. And what is our opinion that one of the themes is? Perseverance. By the way, am I writing out a complete sentence? No. These are my fast notes. How do I make sentences? By my talking. Do you see when you were talking? Yeah. Did you see when Amaya was talking and then she was like, eh, I don't like it that way, and then she reset it? So Amaya, did you have all the words written down or are you figuring out those sentences through talking? Out. Talking. That's what we're doing. Okay, my friends, let's see if we can go back and say this first paragraph all on our own. Are we ready? Yes. Go. The author of Watch this. I could say one of the themes of the story was perseverance. In the story, the character revealed perseverance, revealed the, the theme perseverance, or an interesting theme in the story was perseverance. You tell the people how are you going to say it. You say it with me first. One of the interesting th one interesting theme in the story was perseverance. Ready? One, one interesting, interesting theme, theme in the story is, is perseverance. perseverance. Or Perseverance was an interesting theme in the story. Ready? Perseverance, perseverance was an interesting theme, theme in the story. Or one of the themes in the story was perseverance. Ready? One, one of the themes in the story was perseverance. perseverance. Is it, should I say, was perseverance? Is it gone or is it always going to be there because the story is always there? Always. Yeah, so I could just say is. One of the themes of the story is perseverance. Ready? One of the themes of the story is perseverance. Tell the person how you're going to say your opinion. Ready? Go. Ooh, I heard someone say an interesting theme in the story was perseverance. I heard someone say one of the interesting themes in the story was perseverance. Say it one more time. How are you going to say it? All right, let's see. Michael, where are you? Michael, give it to us. How are you going to say your opinion? Did that sound pretty good? Yeah. Wow. Michael, I have a line across here because this is paragraph number one. When you write this, you're going to indent and write that as your paragraph. Let's say the whole thing and then I'm going to call in the D to back me up. All right, ready? Go ahead and let's say the whole thing so far. Go. The, the author, author of Sam Ash, wrote a short story entitled Saul. In the story, in the story, I am the tool. Needs to find a blessed soul, and he can be rich in his faraway kingdom. One of the interesting themes of the story was perseverance. Okay, everybody, go like this. Go call in the team to back us up. Call in the team to back us up. Okay, I'm gonna do the first team. Watch me. Ready? All right. So I have an opinion. One of my opinions about this story is about the theme. I think one of the themes of the story was perseverance. Now, when I give you an opinion, you need to act like college kids. Look at me, sit up tall in your seat, lean forward. I'm going to say I have an opinion. One of the themes was perseverance. I have an opinion. One of the themes was perseverance. Watch what the college kids do. They do not accept me just going, oh, I think one of the themes was perseverance. They don't let me get away with that. Put your hand up. Put your other hand like this. 
Everyone look at me and say, back it up, back, back it up, up, back it up, back it up. Back it up. <laughs> okay, so when I say I have an opinion, I go, I have an opinion. One of the themes was, one of the themes of the story is perseverance. Give it to me. Oh, well, tell me, say, back it up, back it up. Back it up, back it up. So I can't just have an opinion, I have to back it up. Do I make it up? No. Or do I have to go to the book to find evidence to back it up? Go to, go to the, the book. Say, go to the book. Go, go to the book. book. To back it up. To back it up. Okay, fine. I'm going to have you turn to page 189. So go to 189. Now, we're going to start on paragraph two. You read it with me. Should we read it really slowly or like college students? Okay, we're going to start with the word Ivan. Put your finger on Ivan on page 189. So we're on page 189 and our fingers on Ivan's here. Here we go. Let's read it together. Ready, guys? Go. Ivan prepared for the journey, set sail, and soon caught up with his brothers. They sailed together for a day or two until a strong wind came up and blew Ivan's ship away into uncharted seas. The wind blew Ivan and his crew to the north and to the south. At last they reached an island. Ivan, Ivan stepped out upon the shore and found a path which led to the top of a mountain. There he discovered that his mountain was not made of rock nor of sand, nor of stone, but of salt, pure Russian salt. Now, let's see how that shows perseverance. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to now look at my circles. Who in that passage showed perseverance? Everyone say Ivan. Ivan. What obstacle did he have to face his own fears, others, nature, or an illness? Tell the people at your table. <laughs> Whoa, let's come back then. Ready, everyone? Go. Ivan had to face what? Nature. What in nature? The windstorm. Ready, go back. Ivan had to face a windstorm out at sea. And did he give up? No. No. And he didn't give up until what? He reached his goal. His goal. What was his goal? How did? What did he do? How did he reach his goal there? Tell the person at your table. What goal? To get to the island. To get to the island. Okay, my friends. I'm gonna pick a name. William, where are you? Okay, William. We just read the passage about Ivan. Ready, everybody? Watch me. Ivan was sailing, and the wind came along. And then he kept sailing north, south, and finally he landed on the island full of sand. Sand, sand and then he found out it was salt. Okay. Four, ten, fifth grade substitute. We will. We are off of a rainy day schedule. We will be going outside, so we can have duty. We will be going out as long as the weather holds in the next few minutes. We will be going outside. Okay, so stay with me. Turn around, look up here. Here we go. Ready? Okay, so boys and girls, we have who, William, was showing perseverance in that passage that we just read? Uh, Ivan. Ivan. What did he face? What obstacle did he face? The windstorm. The windstorm. And what, how did he not give up? Did he just start crying and then throw himself into the ocean? No. Or did he stay on the ship? <laughs> Until what? Of what? Of salt. Of salt where, though? On the island. So let's say the whole thing. Ivan faced the obstacle of a windstorm and didn't give up. He stayed on his ship until he reached an island of salt. All right. Now, let's go ahead and... I want everyone to look at me and go like this, go shh, point to the book where I just got the evidence and go, what does that mean? What does that mean? How does that evidence show perseverance? How does that evidence show perseverance? Oh, so I can't just show, I can't just read something from the book and go, yep, that's perseverance. I have to now explain it. So now when I explain perseverance, are most people like Ivan, or is he different from most people? Different. He's different. So watch this. I'm going to have my different boxes. What are most people?
people like if they were in a windstorm, what would they do? Would they be brave? Tell the people at your table, what would most people do if they were in a windstorm? Cry. Cry. Okay, here we go. What would most people be like? Omar, where are you? Okay, Omar, what would most people do? Um, hold on to the ship. So most people in a windstorm, would they brave it out? Would they go north and south and keep trying to sail? What would they do on that ship? What would most people do if they suddenly were being attacked by this big um, storm? They would try to steer. They would try to steer on the storm? And would they be brave like Ivan, or would they be a little bit more terrified? A little bit more terrified. So most people on a ship in a storm would be ah, terrified <laughs> and almost want to give up. However, <coughs> did Ivan give up? No. no. What did he end up doing? He sailed where? North. So he stayed on his ship. He went all over the place. He went north and south until he what? So most people will be would be terrified on a boat in a storm. However, Ivan, what did he do on the boat? He stayed and steered in many directions. So when you stay and you steer north and south, what does that mean? Are you just going anywhere or are you trying to do what if you're going north and south and up and down during the storm? What are you looking for? Getting away from this uh, place to be safe from <gasps> So most people would be terrified, but Ivan, he was traveling north and south to try to get safe and to try to find his goal. goal. His what? Destination. Goal. His destination. And what would the goal be that his, is his destination? What does he want? So now, let's say the whole thing. Most people would be terrified during a storm. However, Ivan traveled north and south all over trying to get safe and finally reach his destination. So, his destination of salt. I love it. All right, let's go back. And let's see if we can have you do one. I just went, I, one of the themes of the story was perseverance. Perseverance was when Ivan sailed and found this island of salt. And then I explained, or actually my friend there did, that most people who have peer, who, who, most people don't have perseverance. They just give up, don't they? They would just get scared on a ship and give up. However, Ivan, he had perseverance, so what did he do? He kept sailing and sailing until he found his... Destination. Destination of salt. salt. Now I want you to find another spot in the story with the people at your table. Find a spot in the story that showed perseverance. Go. Can you find another one? Where, where in the story did someone show that they didn't give up? Where in the story did something happen? People were facing obstacles and they're not giving up. Where? Go. We have an opinion. Go. We have an opinion. Say, one of the themes was perseverance. 
What does it mean to our first Okay, guys, let's give it to them. Ready? Go. Back it up! Back it up! Back it up! All right, tell them what page to go to, guys. Say, please turn to... Please turn to 194. Turn to page 194, everybody. Now let's all read it. Ready? Go. Now it happened that when they flung Ivan from the ship, one of the boards that he himself had thrown into the sea was floating nearby. He grabbed hold of this board, and for a long time he was tossed upon the waves. Finally, he was carried to an unknown island. No one sooner had he landed on the shore than along came a gloomy giant with an enormous mustache from which hung a huge pair of mittens drying from after the rain. What do you want here, asked the giant. Ivan told him everything that had happened. The gloomy giant sighed and said, come along, I will carry you home. Tomorrow your eldest brother is to marry the princess. Sit on my back. Okay, let's stop. Let's take this, what you just read. Someone, everyone go, someone. Someone. Who in that passage just showed perseverance, who? Okay, let's see. What obstacle did the giant face? Do you want to change it? Yeah. Someone. Everyone say, who showed perseverance? Who showed perseverance? Oops, turn to your buddies and say this. Ready? Go. Point to them. Say, who showed perseverance? Who showed perseverance? Everyone say it. I did. What did he do there that showed perseverance? What obstacle? Did he show us fear, others, nature? Tell me. Um, fear. What was he fearful of? The giant. So, ready, go. Ivan faced the giant. Why? Why did he face it? Why was he not giving up to, sh to show, to, to, um, to face the giant? What was he doing? What would he do in that passage there to show that he wouldn't give up? When he faced the giant, did he run away? No. no. What did he do to show that he wasn't going to give up? So ready? Ivan faced the giant by doing what? What did he do there? Talk to your table. Ready? Go. Tell people at your table. What did he do? Tell people at your table. Okay. Ready? Go ahead, table, go. Ivan, everyone tell me with me. Ready? Go. Put your hands in the air and go. Say Ivan. Go. Ivan faced the big giant. And why did he? And he didn't give up. He didn't give up. So when I say he didn't give up, most people, what would happen if they were facing a giant? What would they do? Run away. So what did he do by facing the giant? What did he do? So what is Ivan doing there in the story? Was he just sleeping or did he tell the giant his story? He tells the giant his story. Let's say the whole thing. Ready? Ivan faced the giant by telling him his story. So what did the giant do? Help him. And then the giant helped him. So what would most people do? Would they face a giant? No. Would they run away? Yes. So he faced the giant, and then what would he? What did he end up getting from the giant? Kindness. Help. Kindness. His help and kindness. So he reached that goal. He didn't run away. He got help from the giant. Ready? Let's go back and say it again. I then faced, faced the giant, the giant and, and the giant kindness. Put three circles on the E. Put Ivan in the first circle. Who, my friends? Who, my friends? Who was showing perseverance in that passage? In that passage? Ivan. Ivan. What obstacle did he face? Fear. Fear of what? The giant. So let's put the giant here. Let's put the big giant. Ivan had to face a giant. Now, 
What was his reaction? Why did he face the giant that showed perseverance? What happens when you're facing an obstacle? Do you run away or you don't? Yeah. So Ivan faced the giant by doing what? What did he do when he faced the giant? Tell him to up. What did he do when he faced the giant? Did he give up? No. What did he do, everybody? He told him his problem. All right, so let's put problem here. He told his problem. So Ivan faced the giant by telling him his problem. problem. Now, why does that show Ivan didn't give up? Put the word so on there. So this is the reaction. This is why it shows perseverance. Ready, everyone? Go. Say Ivan. Go. Ivan, Ivan faced the giant by telling him his problem. problem. So what happened? The giant. The giant. The giant was kind, kind and, and helped him. Now we can go back and read our evidence here. Ready, everyone, go. Ivan faced the giant by telling him his problem, so the giant was kind and helped him. Does that show perseverance? Let's see. Ivan, is he facing a fear and not giving up until he gets the help of a giant? I love it. All right, my friends, go over to the whole team. Do we have our evidence? Yes. yes. Now everyone go like this. Say, what does the T mean? What, what does the T mean? Put your hands like this and go, T is for transition. T is for transition. Okay, put your three lines for your transition lines. Go one, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. Underneath the first line, put B, M, E. B M E. Everyone say beginning, middle, end. Beginning, yeah. middle, end. Yeah. Sit up nice and tall and show me where in this story was this evidence that you just found. Was it in the beginning, middle, or end of the story? Middle. 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 Everyone put a big M up here. Go to the second line. What was this story? All these lines on this page. Were these actions? Was this dialogue or was this thoughts mostly on this page? So look at your page, look at your page 194. How was that written? Was that mostly actions where he showed his perseverance? Dialogue or thoughts? What was it mostly make, written of? Action. Everybody tell me. Action. Ooh, put an action line, put an arrow for actions. <coughs> So now I need a transition to get to my evidence, evidence, evidence. And we already put our evidence that we found in the book, but now I need a transition, a fancy way to get to it. So I'm going to say, where was, the store, where was this evidence? In the middle. What kind of evidence was it? Action. And then go to this last part and write the word revealed. Now, watch this. We're going to go over to the arrow, and I want you to put a pencil like it means the author. Now, watch what we're going to do. We're going to go over here, and for our transition, instead of saying one way there was perseverance, we're going to have a fancy transition. Okay, everybody, go in the middle of the story. Ready, go. In the middle of the story, the author wrote actions that revealed how Ivan would never give up. Ooh, so look what I did. I said in the middle, I told the types of sentences that were written, and then that revealed what? That he had perseverance. Do I need to say perseverance again, or can I say never give up? Never give up. I love it. Put a period at the end of this sentence. We already have our evidence. Put a period at the end of that evidence. Okay. Now let's see if we can say the whole thing. Ready? Put your pencil down. Take a deep breath. Sit up nice and tall. And let's start with Har. Ready? Go. The author. Har wrote a short story called In the Story. So 
so he can become rich in his faraway kingdom. One of the themes of the story was perseverance. Ooh, we need a period there. Now let's move on. Ready? In the middle. Go. In the middle of the story, the author cleverly wrote some actions that revealed how Ivan would never give up. All right. Let's give the example. Ready? Go. This was when Ivan faced a big, huge giant by telling him his problems and so the giant decided to be kind and help him. Oh, helpful. I love that. I'm going to put that helpful. Helpful. All right. Put your hands on your hips. Give the flat tire sound to the evidence and go shh, shh. Point to the evidence and say, what does that mean? What does that mean? How does that show perseverance? How does that show perseverance? All right, my friends. Put two boxes next to your A. Put the word most above the first box. Put the word however above the second box. Do most people in this story show perseverance? Or was it mostly Ivan? Mostly Ivan. So let's go to this situation. When most people see a giant, what would they do? Tell people at your table. You walk up, what would most people do? They would, wouldn't they? Okay, stop. Sit up nice and tall. Isabella, where are you? Okay, Isabella. I'm showing you. What would most people do when they see a giant, Isabella? What would they do? Run away. Run away, terrified. Let's show them. Put their eyes up like, Whoa. let's put the word terrified there. Put a period after that box. Okay, let's read that box. Are we ready, Isabella? Go. Most people would run away when they see a giant because they would be terrified. Everyone say, however, however, tell the person at your table what made Ivan show perseverance. However, Ivan, do you think Ivan might have felt scared? Well, what do you think he did? He did he felt scared? But what did he do? Did he run away? So even though he was scared, what did he do? What? He didn't. Did he give up? No. What did he do? Because he knew what. If he told his mom, what would that do? Okay. The giant here is. If you told the giant all kinds of problems, what do you think he would do? Take a seat. Here we go. Ready? Most people would run away terrified from a giant. However, who showed perseverance? Ivan. Let's put Ivan here. Put a big eye in his face. <laughs> However, Ivan, what did Ivan do? Face the giant. Tell the giant his problems. his problems. He told his giant his problems. So how did he feel? However, Ivan was... How do you think it would be if he sees a big giant? Scared. scared. So let's put scared. However, Ivan was scared, but what did he do? Face the giant. <coughs> Face the giant. Didn't give up. He faced the giant by telling him his problems. Now let's say the whole thing. See if you can do it. Ready? Go. The author of our wrote the short story entitled Salt. In the story, a young man named Ivan the Fool is salt so he can be rich and get a big, find a big bunch of salt so he could be rich. One of the themes of the story was perseverance. In the middle of the story, the author wrote, Actions that revealed how Ivan would never give up. 
Ivan faced a giant by telling him his problems so the giant would be kind and helpful. Most people would run away terrified. However, Ivan, even though he was scared, faced the giant. All right, I want you now to see if you can say the whole thing to the people at your table. Ready, set, go. Okay. Close your book and put it at the top of the desk. You don't need it anymore. When you write out your opinion, are you just going to be quiet or are you going to be practicing it as you write it? That's right. I want to see everybody say it as you write it. What are you going to do with it? Ah, so make sure you get your fingers ready. Make sure you know where you're going to start writing. And I want you to write it out. I should hear you talking. Ready? In the short story. Or the author. Write it. Go. Let me hear you. Ooh, I'm hearing you say it. Yep. Write the whole thing out. The author. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. 